Thank you, President Mikogni. I am honored to be standing in front of you and telling you about my Smith journey. My name is Jainab Agdas Rizbi, and I am a proud member of class of 2018. In the audience are my parents, Mama and Baba, and my two younger brothers, Muhammad and Ali, and they are visiting Smith for the first time from Karachi, Pakistan. I am the first person in my family to go to college abroad and I would not be standing here today without their unwavering support throughout these four years. I had never visited the United States before applying to colleges, so reputation and word of mouth played a major role in the deciding to where to apply. At my high school's career fair, I spoke with Sharmin Abo Chinoy, class of 2002, also here today, and she encouraged me to consider Smith. When I expressed an interest in storytelling and journalism, she told me about Smith's curriculum that encourages taking classes in a variety of different disciplines. Soon after, I decided to apply early decision. Little did I know that I would fully explore so many diverse options in the curriculum and go from English to double measuring in computer science and statistical data sciences. I still remember the moment I received my acceptance letter. I was in the middle of the night in Karachi and I had not slept in a wink in anticipation of the decision. I logged into the admission portal and then I ran upstairs to my parents to wake them up and tell them the good news. The excitement, however, came with anxiety. I knew I wouldn't be able to attend Smith without a generous scholarship. I distinctly remember getting on a phone call with the head of student financial services, David Bellinger, at 3 a.m. in Karachi to discuss the specifics of the families of my family's financial situation. A few weeks later, I received the second piece of good news. An adjusted financial aid package that would make it possible for me and my family to be able to afford a Smith education. When I arrived here from my first semester, I had already picked out for writing intensive, intensive course to be on track for English major. My liberal arts advisor said to me, join up, I think you should try at least one STEM course to diversify your course a load a little, to be frightened by the hard science and the long labs, I decided to take the introduction to computer science course. I found it thrilling and even oddly empowering to write computer programs that would make little fish bounce on my screen. Through the support of tutor, faculty, and peers, I was able to overcome my fear of the sciences and do well in my first time class at Smith's. As part of my work study position, as part of my work study position, I was peer advisor at the Lazarus Center for the Career Development. Students around me were sitting, accepted. Uh, internship ranking from startup to world-class research labs while I still couldn't decide on a measure. But soon the students began to inspire me and I began to wonder if I could apply for one of these amazing and terrifying opportunities. I applied for an intern internship at a financial firm at, in New York City and when I was accepted for the technology summer analyst position, I got the confidence to challenge myself and commit to computer science as my measure. During my sophomore year, I was inspired to help the community do more. To address the wide gender gap that currently exists in technology. That, so with the support of my advisor, Professor Nick Howe, I started a Northam chapter of my school's girls who code a national movement to introduce school girls to computer science. 
I also became a computer teach a computer science teaching assistant here on campus, which gave me opportunity to interact with the uh, support of uh, considering the measure. Last summer, I was ecstatic when I was selected to intern with Google in Mountain View, California. However, my excitement was clouded by nervousness about ongoing immigration issues and work visa restriction for foreign nationals. I am grateful for Sydney Davids at Google class of 2008. Who oh, I let my fears, my working throughout my opinion, staying in the US after graduation. This is just one of my many examples set by Smith's community, including current students, faculty, staff, and alumni. Where, where they go out of their way to help each other when unexpected situation arrives. I remember walking into the office of professor in Jordan Krauser class of 2008. One day in my junior year saying that I had suddenly realized that I want to go to graduate school for computer science. I know I was behind schedule, uh, I, I, behind schedule, I didn't have any research experience, but the, uh, they encouraged me to maximize the time and I had remaining estimates. He supervised my special studies where we analyzed bias in the diagnostical statistical manual of the mental disorders. disorders. And he gave me the individual attention I would not have received at any other institutions. I went on to do an honors thesis with Professor Joseph Orog in computational ge geometry. My senior year, which has been one of my most fulfilling academic experience at Smith. Access to undergraduate research allowed me work in two very different but indisciplinary fields. This summer, I will be working as a research assistant at UPenn before joining full-time as a software engineer at Google. My desire to go to graduate school for a PhD in computer, computer science is stronger than ever, and I feel much more prepared for it. All of my amazing experiences have been a collaborative effort to the large Smith community. The friendship I have formed here are perhaps my biggest takeaway from my four years here. For three out of these four years, I have had the privilege of knowing Gina Posco at Lazarus Center, who affectionately called my Smith's mom. When I was severely ill, surrounded by nurses and quarantined at Kuledoxin Hospital, Gina cradled me in her arms and told me I would be okay. I met my best friend Surur Gandhi during the uh, 2016 election, election watching party from reading Urdu poetry together to cramming the night before our art history final to dissecting the New York Times articles endlessly or just arguing about who makes chai that is just the right color. Shurur, you have been an extraordinary friend and I hope we can be best friend forever. The support I have received from Smith has never ceased. From the emergency root canals, thank you Dean Kathleen, to teach me how to thrive in an encouraging uncertain political climate to make making a, a graduate schools in computer science a possibility for someone to afraid to take her first time course. The opportunity I have had here more than I could have imagined four years ago. I am even more excited to be part of our network of remarkable Smiths as a long after graduate. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2000.